Susan invited two men to her house. They weren't entertainers, yet one wore roller skates while the other wore stilts. What were they doing? I'll say that again. Susan invited two men to her house. They weren't entertainers, yet one wore roller skates while the other wore stilts. What were they doing? There's a big block of ice in the middle of the room, and when it melts, no. The doctor <laughs> was the boy's mother. <laughs> yeah, and, and they cooked the murder weapon afterwards, yeah. <laughs> My first thought is that they're going to repair something. Like, one of them has to get way up high, and one of them has to move really fast. Well, and I can tell you, having been someone who's repaired stuff up high... Uh, I have used stilts in a non-entertainment uh, fashion, and the stilts that I use that way are painter's stilts, yes. which I have also actually worn for entertainment purposes. I've worn them in costumes so that I could yes. get an extra couple of feet. Is there a difference between like normal stilts and painter's stilts? Uh, well, so uh, circus stilts tend to be single poles strapped to the to strap to your calf. Um, and so that's a balancing act and painter stilts tend to actually have a full foot platform, uh, that actually moves with the foot so that a non-trained circus performer can actually put them on their legs and walk around safely. That's also the difference between a, a regular unicycle and a painter's unicycle. They just really can't <laughs> As someone who rides unicycles, that landed. I love it. <laughs> of, of course I was in the juggling society when I was at university. Look at me. Like I Dude. Yeah. <laughs> There's just an increasingly obscure series of wheeled contraptions arrived. Like, someone got good at the unicycle, so then they got good at the unicycle but without anything to sit on. And then they got good at what they called the impossible wheel, which was just a wheel with two pegs sticking out of it instead of pedals. And oh, wow. at some point, someone was able to get that around the hall. I love that there's still innovation going on in the circus game that like, you know, there's one of my most foundational memories was being 15 and going to the International Jugglers Convention because it was in the town next to mine. This is like 1983. And the Swedish unicycling team did not get to perform their act on stage because they had like booked something right after and we went too long. So the Swedish unicycling team said, meet us in the gym. And we went to the gym and they did their routine on the bleachers. <gasps> Whoa. Bouncing <laughs> up and down the bleacher stairs. They did their stage routine. You wow, have correctly amazing. identified the painter. That is absolutely right. It is a way that painters get stuff up high. That bit's right. What about the roller skates? Roller skates? Like the person is wearing roller skates. Does it measure if something's uneven? Like, you know, you roll a marble and the floor tilts a little? Um, he's also said skates, but I'm not sure he said that they're on feet. It Right. Oh, no, I did. Well, right. I, I, say, I said wore roller skates. Oh, okay. Oh, you said oh, okay. wore roller skates. Okay, so we do, because uh, I was thinking of a mechanic's creeper, right? Like the uh, tiny dolly a mechanic lies flat on their back on to go underneath a car, but that's clearly I did not, not know that was called a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's no that. longer called a creeper. There, there's only, when I think about someone wearing roller skates in a utilitarian way, where my mind immediately goes is like, they're the dolly somehow. Do you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. they're like, like it, it was important for something to be on wheels to move about. Yes. The, the only, cause the only other, <laughs> the only other cartoonish situation that comes to mind is that the paint is somehow on the roller skates, which makes oh. no sense. I think my brain is going Looney Tunes. <laughs> oh no, but that sounds like I would love to test that out. That sounds like a fun day. <laughs> Down in my notes, it says this is a personal anecdote. This is not some ephemeral thing that happened. This is someone our question writer knows actually had a builder turn up with roller skates to do this. Oh, oh. Wow. then Actually, uh, I'm going to, I would tend to drift back towards painting and say that uh, on roller skates, you could have a really good way of laying down the tape on a long wall, for instance. Or That's even doing really a good. really straight line of paint uh, mm -hmm. without the tape. Mm -hmm. I mean, tape or, or paint. Yeah, I'm going to give you that. That's close enough. It is um, more so plastering and things like that to get a consistent, smooth surface uh, okay. at a consistent speed. But yeah, the roller skates are there because it's 
smoother than walking. Wait, but where? Wow. how do they combine with the stilts? Are they on? They are, are the not both animals? wearing the same things, although <laughs> okay. I would pay to see that. Like that, <laughs> that is a circus trick. That, that's that's an insurance issue at that point. <laughs> it is. The entire juggling convention is an insurance issue. I know the people who had to sort the insurance for the British one of that once. It's it's a lot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if two painters showed up to my home, one in roller skates and the other on stilts, I'd be like <laughs> it's like, yeah, you do my roof with the help of an elephant. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>